Hey y'all, I'm out here in the woods, of course, as you can see, doing something I normally don't do. I'm filming an intro for a video out here. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm out here already filming a little video and then I realized that I had actually forgot to make an intro for my last video that I made. And uh, the reason I forgot to make an intro for that is because I was so focused and so just trying to win that tournament. Hold on, let me let this plane go over. Out in the middle of the woods, we got a plane going over, of course. So anyway, like I was saying, I didn't film a intro for this video or give any sort of context to it like I should have because I was just so focused on trying to win the tournament and so focused on trying to do good for my club that I just totally forgot to film any of the banquet or any of the weigh-ins or anything. So I'm giving it some context here is pretty much what I'm doing. But anyway, yeah, it was the, uh, it was the Metro City Bass Club's uh, annual tournament at Falcon. Or it's not always a Falcon, sometimes it's a Falcon or Amistad has been the last 10 years or so has been one of those two lakes. But anyway, it's the Metro City League of Bass Clubs uh, annual tournament, and this year it was at Falcon. And it's a three fish limit tournament, and it's a club versus club. Uh, what they do is they get any club that wants to actually from around the city, around the San Antonio area, metropolitan area. And uh, anybody who signs up, any club who signs up, you can uh, get all your club members down there and however many boats you want. And what they do is they take the top eight from every club with both days combined. So you have three fish one day and three fish the next day. So six fish, your heaviest six fish from your top eight guys goes to your total. And then those top eight are all added up for, like I said, for the both days. And uh, whatever club has the most weight comes out on top. So anyway... That's a tournament that we're always gunning to win every year, and this year was no different. We were fishing our hearts out, so you'll see how that turned out. But uh, anyway, uh, the lake was fishing pretty small. The lake levels were not ideal. They're pretty low, so as you'll see in the video, there's going to be a lot of boats around us. We're around a lot of big fish, like you've seen in my past videos, maybe in my past Falcon videos. We're uh, fishing the dam area most of the time, of course, and. Uh, there's just a ton of boats all around us, so there's a lot of fishing pressure on the area. And uh, I think maybe some of my videos might have given it some added pressure. I don't know. Maybe some of our compet or yeah, maybe some of our competitors, you know, watch my videos. I don't know. I hope that's not what happened, but I'm guessing that's probably a little bit of what happened there. But anyhow, the weigh-in was at three o'clock on Saturday, and then it's at one o'clock on Sunday. So. Or actually, I think, no, yeah, it was 4 o'clock on Saturday and 2 o'clock on Sunday, so it's two hours shorter, so. You have a crunch time there on that second day, so the pressure was on, so. Anyway, let's see how that tournament turned out. like the Redneck Yacht Club. 13 minutes to first cast. Longest 13 minutes of your life, right? Darcy blows, 7 o'clock. Keeper. Ton of activity around here. That's for darn sure. Come on. 
in some sort of top water play. was a fish at first, then it hung me in something. Oh, I'm on a line, that's what it is. Oh. Okay. That's why I felt like a bite. Yep. Pulled yep. back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> floating in here. I think it's just because he needs weight though. Wow, what in the world? Oh, huh. Bass, right? Small one. Flashy swimmer though. But they want him a little flashy swimmer though, that's crazy. Cinco. <laughs> Freaking four inch Cinco, man. Yes, sir. Almost like that uh, blue one you were throwing. Oh, yeah. I got one that's called Daiquiri. It's really close to that. Okay, cool. That one's pretty good? Yep. Yep. Took off with it fast. Just have to pick it up and drop it. I guess he's little. That's what he's acting like anyway. Kept picking it up and dropping it. Or a really smart big one. Yeah. <laughs> 
I just had another one pick it up and drop it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. I think there should be some decent wind over there too. Oh my god. What? There was a big bass behind it? Yes. There was a giant okay. trying to eat this just now. A freaking monster. I didn't see it, but as soon as I saw your face, I knew what it was. Yes. Holy cow. I hope you can see that on video. That's crazy nice. if you can see that. I think you can. That fish was freaking huge. Trying to eat the, the white bass, I think. That's what it looked like. He was like, yeah, swiping at it. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that fish, oh my God. I bet you it was 10 plus. I mean, it was <laughs> huge, huge, huge. That's how that one hit. It was whoop and just immediately just like a freight train. Yeah. Wow, that was crazy.
keeping that clip. They're having fun, I know that. <laughs> Can't blame them for that part. That's a human hydro wave. <laughs> human hydro wave. <laughs> oh man. Right, I'll pop it. Get a hold of that fish. There you go. Yep. That's a decent one. Uh, he just called too. Huh? He just called too. I didn't see the fish he threw back, but it sounded decent. Uh. Another one, huh? Oh, look how fat that fish is. God dang. It's a spade. <laughs> right? It's a good one. When's it going to be our turn, right? <laughs> Good one. Stuck in his throat. That's how much he ate that one. <laughs> Knock your socks off, Joey. Like a nine. Wow. Oh god, feels big. At first he didn't, but now he's feeling big. He's coming up. Don't jump, sucker. Not, not big, but good. Dang it, another one you needed though. Uh, over there in the front though, right? Yep. Oh, 
Yep, eight. Who it just fell out to. Yep, some people caught them all right. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> yep. Somebody's got to.